Well, it's Friday for us, so um, our usual Fridays are pretty chill. So uh, we just wanted to bring you guys along with us on a chill Friday night um, on what we normally would do, and that you're not in the frame. <laughs> And that's um, Mexican. We we love Mexican food. We do. Uh, we love everything about Mexican. But so we're gonna the take dip. dips are our favorite. The dip. So we're gonna take you guys along with us on our typical Friday night, which is Mexican. But we usually go to one of our local Mexican places. But we decided since we're taking you guys along with us, we're gonna try to be a little bit more. Uh, Fancy. Not really. It's not really that fancy. It's but, not fancy, but, but it's, it's nicer it's, it's than nice. our it's regular. A, it's Mexican. a level up from the norm, <laughs> so, but it's real good. Yeah, and the drinks are great. Yeah, so. and if the restaurant we're going to is in this, it's in this awesome spot called Highlands, the Highlands area here in Atlanta. Um, really cool area. A lot of restaurants and eateries and really cool stuff. And the cool place thing about this place, and we're gonna give you the name in just a minute. It sits right on the be belt line. So oh, if yeah. you guys seen our belt line. Um, video you'll know that it's right it, here behind it. Yeah, so it's right there behind the belt line So if you ever you know decide to do a bike ride on the belt line You can park your bike and pop in for just a minute have you a few tacos a margarita or whatever what have you So the restaurant we're talking about is called pure um, They have a couple of locations here <laughs> in Atlanta right, right, <laughs> He's right, a lot right. taller than me, so he's kind of <laughs> having to you know readjust himself <laughs> to get in the frame But yeah, so it's called pure p-u-r-e and um, yeah oh. The thing I remember most about the spot is my very first time I had these amazing carne asada tacos with uh, mac and cheese at the Mexican spot. Yeah. And it's jalapeno mac and cheese, so I might mess with that tonight. Um, but yeah, it's good. Trust me, the dips, best dips you had at a Mexican spot. Ever. Ever. Ooh, Period. That's thunder. And it's about to go down, so let's head in. And, All right. Uh, we'll Check in with you guys in just a few. Yep. Alright, so one of the things we love about Pure as we wait on uh, our outside table, seating. Yeah, we're out yeah, we're doing outside seating. But the atmosphere here is crazy too. Um, people are real nice. Um, everybody is kind of young kind of hip because this area is kind of young kind of hip it's a lot moving like it's a lot of moving yeah <laughs> you got to watch your feet because the skateboarders are coming through bike riders bike riders yeah and then the regular pedestrians so yeah yeah um you'll see when we get in here music is straight really upbeat perfect spot for like you know friday night or yeah. Um, you know, just hanging out with some friends and whatnot. And you can see, like, a lot of people are dressed up too. It's Friday, a lot of people probably are headed to happy hour. Um, so it's a good mixture. You have people working out, you have your business people, you have us that are down here on a casual Friday night. Um, you have, like I said, people coming off of the belt line, riding their bike. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a really, really cool area. A lot of eateries, a lot of cool spots. I know there's a cigar bar that um, Babe loves to frequent um, that's right down the street, which is in walking distance. So, um, you really, only thing you have to do is just literally park your car, and you could probably stay down here all day. And then, um, sorry, they're calling me for our table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, our, our table's ready. Table's ready. Let's eat. <laughs> Yeah, we do a vlog. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting. Yeah. What's your channel? It's called East Miller Time TV. East Miller Time TV. So we go to different like restaurants around the city. Cool. Yeah. So Paula's taking care of my Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Paula. Yeah, so I just ordered a. What you feel like drinking? I should have gotten some wine, but I went ahead and got a. Um, you can't get wine at a at a Mexican spot. I also though. ordered a mojito, and I should have ordered a mojito at a Mexican spot. You ordered a mojito? I did. I got a peach mojito. Cause it's not wrong. Okay. Don't judge me. All right. Rum instead of tequila, huh? You got a beer. 
Well, we know why I got a beard. <laughs> Alright, so one of the things we definitely recommend here is the cheese dip, but you gotta get the jalapeno puree and dump it right in there. Then you gotta stir it up in there. They got the best deal, man. I'm gonna tell you too. These joints right here, there's money too. So you try that. I love their cheese and jalapeno dip. I like to dip a little salsa in mine. Oh, I did it so wrong. All right, I got the Modelo Especial. What you got? Oh yeah, that, their drinks are strong. I'm gonna chill with my beer for now. <laughs> they also have a drink called a Sedgwick, which, which is a margarita with uh, bourbon in it. Really good, try it out, trust me. Let's watch our baby uh, doing her chips. <laughs> You're gonna make she, me seem like a fat lady. She, she got, I'm not gonna eat this. Come on, come on, do it, come on. No. Come on. There she goes. Ow. 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 <laughs> so the food is here. What you got? I have these tacos and we fried beans and rice and some kind of like green sauce. But I'm pretty full, so I mean, I'm like, I'm already kind of satisfied a little bit, so I probably eat a little bit of this. I didn't, I only got like two tacos, so. Okay. Okay, what do you got, babe? We got the carne a la Faria, which is a steak with jalapeno mac and cheese. So how many napkins? Like, I only need like two. You need two? <laughs> I don't know what this sauce is all about, but... I bet it's good. I kind of want some on my steak. <laughs> Spicy? Why are you shaking your hand like that? It's good. Go. But I should have told her flour to Oh, damn. I hate flour to Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. So the fish is very seasoned. It's a nice little kick to it. I think it has like chipotle mayo on it. And some type of um, coleslaw. But I'm going to send it 
to me is back to get flower tattoos because I, I, I can't eat more tattoos because I like absolutely hate them. So, but yeah, let me taste the beans and rice. And I, I don't know what kind of rice this is. It's like green. Yeah. It's some kind of lime rice. I'm gonna ask her the name of it, but it, it has like a lime kick to it. All right, guys, we just finished dinner, so obviously we're gonna let y'all know how it was. Give it a score, scale of one to five. I'm gonna let Babe go first. What's up? Um, I said four. Okay, four. that's pretty good. For you Mexican, know, yeah, though. for Mexican, because I mean, I don't know. I have, I've, yeah, I mean, the service was good, the appetizer is always good, the cheese dip, the jalapeno, um, the drink was good. Um, even when I had to send back my food, it, it came back promptly and everything. And yeah, it was good. So I would I wouldn't give it a perfect score, but you know, four is good. Four is really good. Yeah, on, on the scale of like Mexican restaurants and Friday night chill, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go three point five. Um, yeah. Just because you know most people have their own little you know kind of like Mexican duck off spot or whatever like they like to go to every single Friday or whatever it is. Well, we do. Well, we do anyway. So <laughs> I think this is a good alternative and a, a good way when you want to switch it up. Real cool spot. If you want to have drinks and then have an area to walk around in yeah, and have a bunch yeah. of other stuff to do. Yeah. The Highlands um, Pure is good. There's a bunch of them it's, across. I, it's actually pure taco. Yeah, Pure Taqueria in the Highlands. There's actually one in like Buckhead, Alpharetta, and a couple other spots around the city. Um, but we love to come to the one in the Highlands because we can go skate to the cigar bar or either hit up one of the other bars in the area. So uh, Yeah, that's why I kind of gave it a four because it's not isolated. There's still other um, attractions around, not just eateries, but other things that you can do within the radi walking distance of the area. Um, so, you know, that kind of accounted in my score as well. Okay. Um, because you want to, you, you know, when you think about having dinner or, you know, just having nice go-to spots, you also want to think about accessibility to other, you know, depending on what you're looking for. You want to you want to think about accessibility to other activities as well, so, yeah. Overall, we recommend it. 3.5, four for the wifey. And I think uh, y'all should check it out. So Pure Taqueria, Highland. Yeah, in the Highlands. And um, yeah. we're gonna catch y'all next week. Peace. Peace.